my god, you're a sight for salty eyes. Come you in and have a drink. Morning, all. Why can't we? Who's this? Adewale, the Jackdaw's quartermaster. Jackdaw. <laughs> you named your brig after a poxy bird. Adi, these lads are the better part of our growing confederacy here. Ed Thatch, Ben Hornigold, James Kidd. You let him carry a pistol, do you? Peace, Ben. Ade saved my life. And now we're looking to find a crew to fill out the rest of my ship. Well, there's scores of capable men about. We use caution. A shipload of the King's sailors showed up a fortnight back, causing trouble and knocking about like they own the place. Right. I'll see who I can muster. Cheers, Adi. That is what I think. Grazie. My thanks. I'm your man now, Capitano. From the deep there, Captain. Jack thanks you hardy.
can we? Come fast! The soldiers have kept a man in irons. They mean to hang him. This pirate bears the blood of many innocents on his hands. His Majesty's on the... A moment more. Well done, Edward. Now you'll want to sail somewhere rich with plunder. Have you heard of a place called the Observatory? Aye. It's an old legend, like El Dorado or the Fountain of Youth. What have you heard? It's meant to be a temple or a tomb, hiding a treasure of some kind. That's it. See here. Oh, oh rot. It's fairy stories you prefer a gold, is it? It's worth more than gold, Thatch. Ten thousand times above what we could pull off any Spanish ship. Robbing the king to pay his porpoise is how we earn our keep here, lad. It ain't a fortune. It's a fantasy. Can we? Not a bad looking tinder box you got there. You sound a bit green, horny gold. Is it envy? Because mine's bigger than yours. No, I reckon it's this Jamaican funk. I prefer the Spanish stuff. So, you've got yourself a fancy brig now. Fine. Well, I'm gonna teach you how to say it all right. And how to take a prize the proper way. Thatch, we'll catch you up at the old fishing village. Aye. Right. Where's your helmsman, Kenway? I take pride in piloting my own ship's bend. Keeps me alert. Let's make some headway, shall we? I've no need for schooling. How many prizes did we take together as privateers? <laughs> There's a chasm of difference between joining a raid and captaining one. There's a prize worth taking. Good! Take us in close. After you subdue a prize, project authority and demand respect that you would never give. This weaves a spell over soft minds. For your victims must always have in the back of their minds the uneasy idea that you could snap at any moment. 
Fire what cannons you will, and land a few strikes if you must. But for God's sake, don't sink her. It's no fun fishing cargo out of the sea. Although it can be done. Tengo un buen día, señor. I am Captain Hornigold, and this is my crew. We're sailors like yourselves, but quite unalike in our purpose. For we intend to take all that you owe. Yet no harm shall befall any man so long as he remains at ease. Is that clear? No me mate, señor. Tengo familia. Se lo suplico. Anyone speak English? English? Little bit. Tell your friends we're stealing your goods, and we won't hurt nobody if everyone stays as still as a sandbar. You got that? Please do repeat. Oh, for fuck's sake. Lock them in the hold, and take everything that isn't nailed down. Feeling sailing about with this much stolen cargo. Get used to it. We'll need to take a few more prizes to make this a profitable day. today, can we? Half a dozen scores of that size and you'll be set for a year. Now let's sell this cargo and fix up your jack door with a few more trinkets. Sod a year. I'm looking for a price that will set me up for life. I'll be king of the West Indies then. We came to Nassau to get away from the likes of kings. Well, I'll be a man of property and promise anyway. Jesus, let that dream go, lad. Nassau is the place to be. Not in. Do you ever dream of the big score? A ship so full of gold and silver, you just split it and sail home. Sure, but it's only a dream. Every man hopes to find a dozen chests of gold with no owners. They're as rare as an honest king. And when 
we get to the water sea gates. Goodbye, fare ye well. Goodbye, fare ye well. Of Sally and Polly, for the flash men do wait. Hurrah, ye boys, we're home and bound. And one to the other will hear them say. Goodbye, fare ye well. Goodbye, fare ye well. Oh, here he comes, Johnny, with four e months pay. Hurrah, ye boys, we're home and bound. Well, these thy cows and we'll ring the old bell. Goodbye, fare ye well. Goodbye, fare ye well. And with him to his will, raise Mary L. Hurrah, we boys, we're homeward bound. We're homeward bound to the gals of the town. Goodbye, fare ye well. Goodbye, fare ye well. And stab me your bullies and even it all round. Hurrah, we boys, we're homeward bound. And we get home, boys, oh, won't we fly round? Goodbye, fare ye well, goodbye, fare ye well. We'll leave up the anchor to this bully sound. <laughs> Hurrah, ye boys, we're homeward bound. We're homeward bound to the old backyard. Goodbye, fare ye well, goodbye, fare ye well. Let me be bullies, we're all about homeward. We're clear, Captain. Douse those men! Puedo ayudarlo en algo. Our take today. Keep this up, and Nassau will be the first city where men and women may live as God made them. Easy and free. All it takes is a few drops of blood, sweat, and a swatch of cloth. We fly no colors out here. We'll praise the lack of them. So let the black flag signal nothing but your allegiance to man's natural freedoms. This one's yours. Fly it proud. I will. I hand over the docket I lend you. If we're to keep our Republic afloat, we'll need guns as well as gold. That means attacking the Navy. So long as they're flying King Philip's colors will not offend our own monarch. As you've likely seen, the number of merchants roving these borders is three score the number of military ships. Right. Easy purchase, but in small doses. Right. So to lure the Navy out of hiding, it's best to cause a bit of mischief. Catch a few small... Fail ho! Military class brig on the horizon! Good eye, man. Are you ready for this, Kenway? She won't go down without an honest fight. Who's up for taking that brig, lads? So die! Ah! That's a sound I like to hear. Pipe to corners. All hands to cannons. Careful around the Navy. They're as likely to ram you as fire a broadside. Let's test those powder barrels again. Oh, Who's thinking? Oh, oh shit, they're opening the sack! I won't play shot there! Fire! Fire! You're not, Cap! Fire! The sword exposed, take the shots up! Fire! Round on every run! Let the round go! Fire! Let us the sail! Fire! 
Rose, take the fire! 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 Now firing, sir! Two speed sail! Heavy touch! Start job! Let's get moving! Ready to fire, sir! to fire, sir! Loose all and trim
That was a rumble, by God. How do we fare? A fine purchase, no mistake. Now I think it's time to lay low and drive our way back into secrecy. Agreed. So, how do we get rid of this notoriety we've stirred up? Money, my boy. A well-placed bribe to the right government official will see the military off your tail. Right, let's do that. I'll need to meet these good Samaritans at some point. Smart thinking. Spanish friend. Lovely. I'll make sure they forget you, friend.
sure a wonder, can we? You've a knack for this kind of work. It ain't work if you love it. Ah, ah, it's hard. But I ain't doing this forever, lads. Only until I get enough coin to buy some land and influence back home. <laughs> Jesus, will you listen to your tripe? Still dreaming on about that strumpet back in England when you could have any better you wanted here and now. Ah, such lofty goals for you gents. And here I thought I was in the company of scoundrels. A fine purchase today. What's the crew's mood? All smiles and no teeth. And there's a few talking about meeting with Master Kid to steal from a nearby plantation. Plantation? That's ambitious. Profitable too, if we can manage it. Aye. It's a good idea. Look, Captain! The sea rises against us! <laughs> 